All right, so in this video, I'm going to look at a, um, a bivariate core plus map in ArcGIS Pro. Okay, so to start off with, I want to pull in some data, and we're going to grab some data from the Living Atlas. So to do that, we go to Add Data, and instead of looking on our local machine, we're going to look in the Living Atlas. Note that you have to have a certain license uh, in order to have access to this. It's an, an Esri service. If you're here at the university and you have a have an online an ArcGIS online account with the with the the view, you should have access to this. So what we're going to look at is county level health rankings. So let's do health ranking. I'm just doing a search here, and. This is what we want, County Health Rankings 2019. You can see this is a feature layer um, hosted, so effectively we're gonna stream in some vector data and you can see the owner there. Um, so this is coming from Esri Demographics. And then you probably should cite the source if you're gonna actually use this data um, in a map. So we're at OK there, and that should stream that data layer in. Um, so if we do the stock down, you can see there's a couple different sublayers there. We're going to work with this. Um, if we open up the attribute table, you can see there's a ton of attributes. Um, and they've included like alias names, which makes it a little bit easier to read. Okay, so if we're clicked on that layer, and we should be able to go to symbology. And then uh, we want to change our type here to bivariate callers. And then we can start um, editing this. So first off, we want to pick some two different continuous measures to symbolize. So I'm going to set, um, we're going to look at, let's see here, down here at the bottom, there should be some factors in here associated with, um, so let's, let's do adult obesity and for the first field. You know, we can normalize it, but we don't have to in this case because it's percentage, it's already normalized. And then for the second field here, we'll look at, um, there should be one related to diabetes rates. Di well, diabetes prevalence percent of adults above 20, we'll do that. Okay, so as you can see, we basically have two ramps. This like pink ramp is the obesity, and then the diabetes prevalence is the blue ramp. All right, to actually change the collar mappings, um, we can use this collar scheme set up here, and you can see a bunch of defaults. Since we have two values that are um, sequential and increasing in one direction, We'd want to use a ramp that makes sense for that. So like this would make sense, or maybe like the blues and the oranges. Um, we'll just I'm gonna use the blue and orange. Um, again, it's good to use like complementary colors, or at least colors that the contrast well. And you know, like uh, Cynthia Brewer has some um, suggestions for that. We, we went over in the lecture. And the grid size is just the size of the grid that'll be mapped. Your options here are two by two, three by three, and four by four. I'm just going to increase it to a 4x4 four four so we can see what that looks like. And then for some reason it switches it back to a different ramp, so we'll grab our ramp again. Okay, um, and then you can look at the distributions for the different groups. Um, your two fields that you're symbolizing there. Um, Notice that you can change the classification method here. We just have it set to quantile and we'll leave that alone. And then the legend, you can make some changes. So you could change the label here for each of the categories. Um, for the actual like grid, which shows up over here, you can change its orientation. I generally like this high values option. It makes it like a diamond shape. I just think that's easier to read. You can also change the position of the labels. By default, it's on the sides. Um, if you do label corners, it labels the corners. I actually kind of like that. So, um, and then you can actually change the labels for each corner. So, high for both. Low for both. And then this one would be the blue, so high C.
slow. Diabetes. And then this is just the opposite. I'm just going to copy that and we'll, flop, we'll switch it around. Paste. Um, so high diabetes, low obesity. And I think that makes a, a legend that's fairly easy to, to read. Um, so that's basically it. Let's let's just slide this to a map layout real quick. So we're gonna go into um, insert, new layout, we'll grab a, like a landscape size print or orientation. Um, and then we want to add that frame. Activate, zoom out here a bit, and I'm going to turn off the base map. It's being a little slow there to draw, as you can see. It's, uh, it's just to stream all that data in. Um, okay, um, and then while that's working, if let's just add a legend. Oh, I guess we zoomed out too far. Let's turn off. We have to zoom in a little bit further to actually see the counties. This must have, I'm just going to zoom in some, it's not important. We're just trying to turn off the base map there. Um, so I just wanted to show you the legend. So let me do exit and then I'm just going to do a legend and then we'll insert a legend here and you can see we get this um, legend that has the bivariate scheme in there. So let's just take a second and edit this. So let's say everything's good. We don't want to change anything. So we should we can convert this to a graphic. Well first off let's make some broader changes. So if we go into format for the legend we could change the fonts and colors. Um, one thing that I generally like to do we click on uh, we click on the legend here and we look at items, so U.S. County, we don't really need to show that. Turn that off. Oh, I see it's got that layer. Let's just not show that at all, so we'll do a remove. It's not updating. Um, remove that. And then for this, let's turn off the layer name. And then the rest of these aren't actually in there. So that's pretty much what we would need um, in terms of the different components. Okay, so now let's say we want to we can convert this into a graphic. And then ungroup it. And then we could edit these individual components, right? So, for example, I'm just gonna move these over here. Line them up a bit. And Again, this is just, just telling you what colors what. In this case, really, you wouldn't need this, right? Because I think it's kind of obvious. I'm going to shorten this name just for simplicity. Capitalize obesity there. Oop, let me make it a little larger. Um, and then this, I'd like to maybe expand it out. Let's edit this a bit. So I'm going to drop this down to here, and I'll do the same thing with this one. And then make that bigger there. And then we'll try to position these a bit better. So again, I'm just uh, 
trying to make this look a little bit better. Could also, if we, if we wanted, we can make this bigger. Just make it a little bit bigger. Move these over for now. Move these out of the way for now. I'll do the same thing with these. Maybe uh, make them a bit larger. In this, we could try to determine what size we made the other one. What I'm gonna do is just lay it over top of it and expand it until it fits. A little bit big. Oh. Up higher. Oh, I must be behind that one. So again, I'm just trying to make the sizes line up. Yeah, I'm just kind of playing around with this, trying to align things the way I think makes sense. Something like that. Okay, so there you go. Um, just for the heck of it, just to finish up, I'm going to add a... Um, oh, that's text. Uh, that's, we want to do... That's the shape. Oh, I guess it was in here. So I'm just going to add a box behind this. And then let's fill it in. And then it's now above it. So we're going to do a, let's uh, see, a uh, distribute. That's not. I do you want to do order send backward do this a couple times pro actually we just do it over here that's easier so we'll take this rectangle and we'll move it down that's the legend let's just put it here there we go so that's behind it kind of put a box around it there. That would probably still need a little bit of work, but um, again, the point is just to show you that you can start combining elements as graphics to make things a bit cleaner. Okay, so that's an example of a bivariate map and bivariate legend in um, ArcGIS Pro.